Tip Tut. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today, we're looking at sequencing layers in After Effects. Um, now, as you can see, I've got this very simple line dash animation. Um, and what's happening is it's the same animation duplicated four times and changed in position. And then, as you can see, they're sequenced. Um, now, if you had just four of these, um, then all you'd simply do is you just move the start and end frames of the animation um, until they be happened one after each other. For example, if I align all of these up, so they start at the same time, you'll see that they zip across the screen um, at the same time. And then I can just shift these position wise manually and they become in sequence. Now, what if you've got a hundred or even 10? You don't want to do that manually because that's going to take a long time. What you want to do is have a really good way to sequence this um, automatically. So that's what I'm going to teach you today. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new composition. Um, we'll call this Tut for Tutorial. We'll make it perhaps um, two seconds in length because it's going to be very short and we'll hit OK. Drop that inside the tutorial folder. Now I'll just quickly throw in a background um, with layer new solid and the solid can be red. That's fine. Um, now I want to just grab my pen tool um, and draw some lines. Now I'm going to make this perhaps slightly different. Um, maybe we'll do it um, vertically. How about that? That's nice and simple. Looks good. So there we go. We've drawn a line. Um, we'll just use motion two to pin the um, anchor point to the center and um, he says simply, but then he keeps clicking the wrong place. Pin the point to the center. Good. Um, and we'll put, position that in the middle of the screen. 960, 540. Good. Now, to animate this, we just want to add a quick trim path. So we'll do that now. Add a trim path. Start and end key keyframe. Give it perhaps 40 frames and two more. Then when we go back to the beginning, we can drift this down to zero shift that up to 100 and then offset this by one two three quickly add a keyframe assistant easy ease and then drag that to there now i'm not showing you this because i'll go through it in another tutorial and you should know how to do it if you're looking into sequencing you have a basic knowledge of understanding what i've done there is just create a little animation that flicks across the screen in a nice manner okay and i've added a bit of easing so this actually looks good now, if I give myself a bit more room in the layers palette, um, panel, sorry, what I want to do now is say I just want to duplicate this, hold shift, one, two, three to the left, duplicate this, one, two, three to the left, duplicate again, one, two, three, um, it's more than enough of that, so we'll duplicate all of those, make sure they go on top, that's very important, and we'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, all well, that's given us is eight lines next to each other. Now, I don't really want to do these manually. That's going to take quite a while. So instead, what I'll do is I'll make sure they're center on the page just for my peace of mind by locking the background so I don't accidentally selecting it um, and just shift them over so they're roughly in the middle. Good. So um, I want to sequence these um, so they come on screen in, in order, basically. Now, the uh, best way to do that is to use the sequencing inside um, Keyframe Assistant. So if you select all your layers and choose how much you want the difference between each layer to be, say, for example, you want it to be uh, four frames until the next one starts. So you just hold Control, one, two, three, four. So that means there'll be four frames of difference between each layer when we finish setting this up. So now if you just hold Alt and then close square bracket, that'll cut the layers off to, um, well, it's actually going to be five frames. Um, we can shrink that down one more if we want to. Um, meaning that at the moment they're only on screen for four frames. Now that may be confusing, but you'll see why this is important in a minute. Now this is the most important step because the way you select these is the way the order that the sequence will happen in. So if you click one, shift click eight, and then right click and go to uh, keyframe assistant, you'll see there's a little thing here that says sequence layers. We'll click that. You'll get a little dialog box that pops up. Um, you want to leave overlap unchecked um, because if you click on, you can overlap by say two frames and each frame will actually overlap. If you leave it unchecked, they'll play directly at the end. So if I hit OK, you can see that it sequence those layers to the length that the um, visibility bar is actually on. So at the moment it looks kind of crap, <laughs> but all we need to do now is drag those bars out to the end of the timeline and voila in sequence um 
now that lasts a bit long so we'll trim that down with n and then hit click trim tom trim comp um and that's all there is to it it is as simple as that now imagine you had 100 layers this is where this really comes into effect you can actually write scripts to do it but if you wanted to do it kind of manually but also kind of automatically this is the best way so thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this story found it useful if you did subscribe if you didn't that's also cool there's plenty of other people who are much better than this out there um so go watch some of their videos because they'll be able to help you more <laughs> okay cool i'll see you next time guys uh goodbye remember to subscribe for more tips tricks and tutorials Thanks for watching.